okay to recap pretty much on everything that happened in between the last video and this video. I killed a lot of bandits and did a couple tournaments. I got some fancy arrows, some fancy stuff, and like fucked some bitches and bought some cookers and no really none of that happened. The whole cookers part. But you knew that. This time, going to turn the sound down so there are parts where you would have trouble hearing me, but this time you won't because the sound will be down. Yeah. Okay, that'll do. supposed to find some holy relic, but there is this, like, whole thing with... Yeah, some guy paid me to go find it, and I decided to just ditch it and take the money, so... Yeah. And then I was supposed to find... Oh, yeah, we, we talked about that, and I didn't do that. Anyway. Let's see. We'll have our pay, or we'll have our fun. Let's do this. You'll have nothing but cold steel scum. See, I got a fancy new longbow. And these fancy arrows and fancy shield and fancy helmet and that kind of thing. arrows, but whatever. I don't know why it's showing my insignia as a gray blob. Because it's just nothing right now, but it shouldn't be like that. It should be the blue and red thing. God damn it. Yeah. Video games. I'm a dog! Yeah. yeah. I did find the battle cry button, it is you. That is a pretty neat looking shield, I gotta say. I'm not sure if it's a hammer or if it's supposed to be like a guy with his arms up. I, I think it's a hammer. I'm gonna assume it's a hammer. and 
Lady Scutus or something. I sure do hope bandits don't attack me in my camp. Oh boy. Would you look at that? I'll give you nothing but cold steel, scum. how you can use a longbow while on the back of a horse. That doesn't even really make sense. Especially this freaking gigantic thing. Really ought to equip my spear in order to make this adventure quite much easier. smoked fish and bread with a bunch of assholes. zigzagging up the hill. It's just silly. Oh well. Shit, they're running away. Yeah, when they reach the edge of the map, they sort of just disappear. As if they were some kind of ghost. I'm not big with physics and bows or anything, but I don't think you could fire that on a horse. It's rather large. It's as if he's compensating for something. This, this weird little bug, which I think mainly just happens with the Steam version. So I would recommend not buying the Steam version, because it has some weird bugs like this, which is uh, kind of trippy. Or sometimes, let's see if it'll happen. No, no it won't. Sometimes, or wait, no, no it's not happening. There's this little gap right here, where this left area here will just be like... It's like, it, it, it's, it's pretty trippy. You'll be tripping balls.
We'll have our pay. We'll have our fun. Why, to be another traveler chance met upon the road, I should warn you. Country here is might dangerous for a good fellow like you, but for a small blah 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 cold steel. These arrows are incredibly strong, but I really wish I had more of them, because it would make this a lot easier. Where are my archers? Do I have... yeah, I have archers, okay. okay. I have... I did not realize I had that many horses, well... Alright. As soon as those bastards show their faces. <laughs> yeah! Shoot a guy in the face running in a straight line towards me. Fuck yeah. People in this game are very silly. A lifer advance. And my horsemen keep getting slaughtered. Among everything else. I'm not a very good commander. in the British Isles. They cost, like, a decent horse costs almost as much as a brewery. It's a little bit strange. Are there even crossbows in this mod? I haven't even found one. I don't see anyone using them. It's kind of weird. Like, I don't know. I mean, I guess, did they have crossbows in the year 636? Ooh, F. Moore is being sieged. Also, another thing about this game is that your men are pretty much always going to be pissed off at some point. It's just... They can never be pleased. Never.
thing in this mod also that kind of annoys me is that half the time, unless you, like, memorize what the, uh, specific troops are, it's kind of hard to tell what you're upgrading them into. Yes, I did go hunting for deer in this game, and they do have a model. Although, they just use the horse skeleton, so it's... And sounds like the, the boar that neighed when it died, but I guess it's good enough. And you can make a fair bit of money doing it. I'm gonna turn the sound effects up, I prefer that. aren't sticky enough, as in like, like sticks rather than the actual being sticky or whatever, I mean they, they just, they look more like, well, horses than deer, but I guess it makes sense. Actually, they look more, they look kind of like donkeys. It would also be cool, I think, if you, there was like a bunch of bucks with them or something that would actually charge at you. Fuck you. Hey, hey. Fuck you. I'm gonna kill you. Yeah. Motherfucker. Oh yeah, and you can see your legs in this game. Technology. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck, wait, no. Eh, eh, eh. Fuck you. Yeah. I can't sleep at night because when I close my eyes I see the faces of the deer I have killed. No, I really can sleep at night, it's rather easy. It's a lot of deer meat. Do I really have not have enough space for it? I'm getting rid of this shit, I'm just gonna... I will give the deer weapons. I killed every deer but one, wow. It's like I'm really in Bambi. Oh fuck yes, tournament. I'm gonna sell all this other shit. I do not I do not want to check the local prices, no. Oh cool, welcome back, friend. Let's see. Buying wool cloth and blah blah blah. Okay, good, the tournament's still going. Pretty sure if you have salt in your inventory, it actually makes this stuff doesn't go bad as fast, from what I have observed, which is pretty cool. Oh, well, he doesn't even have enough money to buy all that. You can also sell anything to any merchant, so you can sell a bunch of deer meat to the armor merchant. Although maybe he's hungry. You never know. Alright. Time for the tournament. Hopefully I don't get a shitty weapon.
Master of Ceremonies declares a recognition of your skill and bravery, allowing you to take part in the next round. Awesome. Thank you, Mr. Master of Ceremonies. Oh, cool, I get javelins. How, wait, how does that work in a fight where you're not supposed to kill people? And why would they give me a javelin in a... God. These guys are such trolls. There we go. sake. That is not fair at all. Oh god. I need to sh pick up the goddamn shield. against the man with javelins. At least he's a terrible shot. Or throw, or whatever. Two teams with one fighter each. Expensive horse is gift you is gift you for your victory. Is gift you. I love the translations, but fuck yes, I got a horse. Thank you, whatever town this is. It said there was a feast going on and there's nobody in here. This is disappointing. Yeah, I got a horse. It's a rather stout horse. That's a good horse. I like it, I approve. I actually like my composite bow better than the long bow, but the long bow is quite a bit stronger. Should I go in and help them? No, because I know which one will win. I mean, those, it's like a... It's 94 versus over... Yeah, 400, actually. Goddamn. What a bunch of douchebags. Oh, yeah, I should have checked if there was a... Ransom broker. You can sell slaves to those guys. 
I have 15 slaves. Oh, actually, we'll see if they want to join me. You there. Me? Gulp. It's like Scooby-Doo. You're not as... Listen, scum, you have one last chance to redeem yourself before I sell you to the slave traders. Drop all your previous allegiances and swear fealty to me. Is that fealty? I think it's fealty. Obey my every order to the letter, and you'll be paid, fed, and equipped. If you don't, well, let's just say that life as a slave will be seemingly unending years of agony, malnutrition, and beatings. I'd advise you to think very, very carefully before choosing. Thank you for your mercy, sir. I swear on my mother's grave I will serve you, my lord. In my camp, we are all treated as equals. I expect your obedience, but also your trust. Awesome. Excellent. Report to the quartermaster for provisions and equipment. Equi equipment. Okay. There is hard fighting ahead. I would serve under the leadership. Actually, no, I probably wouldn't serve under the leadership of Crunch Butt Steak, because he doesn't seem like a very good commander. Let's see. These band leaders are str Let's see. Okay, cool. They're actually both joining me. This can be a lot cheaper than... Hiring men. Oh, you can free prisoners for honor. I didn't know that. I didn't even mean I didn't even mean to do that, but it'll work. It'll work. Tear and see if there's work. I feel like changing my face up a bit. usually try to age my characters over time with that, but I like how he looks a lot right now. Oh, it's freezing up a little bit. Probably means something, yep. Trade agreements everywhere. Or non-aggression, trade, defensive, and blah blah blah. Can you smell that? Mistletoe, crab apples, and butter. It's the scent of Hibernia. I spent many a happy summer here when I was a girl playing outside the cottage of my old grandma. Tell me more. Dun Kelter is named after a legendary hero called Kelter, who once built his fortress where the town now lies. Just like the rest of Hibernia, the place is plagued by constant wars and cattle raids. I myself, you know, became a slave as a war prize. Anyways, this region is my birthplace, and it is very good to see it again as a free woman. Well, ain't that dandy. Fuck yes, another tournament. Should buy a banner for one of my men, if I ever get another horse, because I don't really want him riding around without an actual, uh, decent weapon. I mean, well, walking around without one. If he was on a horse, he could be of some use. They really ought to not allow you to bet on yourself, because it seems like not a, like... I don't know. I just, you, you could... I mean, in a sense of, like, if, if this was... I don't know, it's a video game. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. It's time to oh, That one quick. I'm gonna beat them with a stick. 
you spawn with a freaking axe and everyone else has shields and spears and you're outnumbered. It's like, you just want to kill somebody. Fuck you. Master Ceremonies declares a recognition of your skill and bravery, and yeah. <laughs> Wait, how the hell did he die? Is that... I didn't kill him, I don't think. Javelin? Okay, that, that guy died because of me. I usually prefer third person. Sometimes first person is necessary. Oh god. Oh come on. Fuck off. Well, I lost that wager. Yep, you've been eliminated. Well, that sucked. How much money did I lose? Oh, not enough. Yeah, I didn't really. That didn't matter. I'm okay with that. Shillings. Look at that. I love that little boar on the top of his helmet. Look at it. It's beautiful. Its snout is just so snouty or something. Ooh, a farmer. My lord, you look like a man of the sword and someone who could help us. Will you hear my plea? What is the matter, my good man? A band of brigands have taken refuge in our village. They take everything we have, force us to serve them, and do us much evil. Evil! If one of us so much as breathes a word of protest, they kill the poor soul on the spot right away. Our lives become unbearable, and blah, blah, why don't you go to the lord? And very well, I'll help you. Cool. A beanaker. However you say that, is it boar is his flag? Well, where's Beaniker? There it is. village is infested by 37 unrights. I love that portrait. What the hell is he even doing? Just... Just that smile. I'm pretty sure all of these pictures are like from renaissance fairs and stuff. Or rather... I guess if it was a renaissance fair, it would be of the renaissance. It's like a... whatever fair. Oh. Medieval fair? I guess medieval fair. It's the medieval times. I always like medieval times and stuff. I just don't know the specific dates of what, what is considered medieval times.
casualties, 37. And that's the way you do it. Does deer meat go bad? I feel like it should, but it doesn't, I don't think. If you're wondering, no, there is no plot in this game. And that's kind of the point. It's just like... Medieval... People fighting. I mean, in, in the base game, it's like the only game where you can have... Mongols and Vikings in the same setting. Which, by the way, the Kurgits are dirty, disgusting people, and they should be killed. All of them. Indiscriminately. Just all of them should be slaughtered. Well, yeah, I don't know how long this has been going on for. I think I'm just gonna end this part here. And, uh, yeah, fuck you.